Hello, I'd like to do a quick video on uh, rebuilding the Volvo Penta um, 385-7794 raw water pump. I had a little trouble getting my unit apart, and part of it is because I didn't know how the heck to get it apart. And, you know, I usually start hammering or whatever away, and eventually I figure it out. Well, hopefully this video makes it a little bit easier for anybody else trying this thing. So what we got here is uh, we got this pump. Um, you got a little diagram here. You've got your pump, you've got your pump body, you've got like this little midsection, and then you've got your bearing housing right over here. You can kind of see it taken apart. You got your inlet out, like the pump body and a bearing housing. And there's this like little interesting um, open. It's, it's left open here, and I suspect that they did this so that if you do develop a leak from the pump body, that it'll just dribble or run out here before it um, before it uh, contaminates the bearings and seizes up the whole pump. Kind of a neat little design if you think about it. But uh, the, the big key was that when I looked at this thing, it was all put together and the, the pulley sits up right, real tight up against the um, bearing housing, is how do I get this thing out? The only thing that I could figure is, is to press it out fr from this end. And you can take, before I did this, I don't know if you can see here. Before I did this, you know, you can take this impeller out really easy. Just grab it with some needle nose or something and wiggle and jiggle. If you need to, maybe you could put a little WD on there or something. But I got that out no problem. And it was interesting. Um, something I didn't notice in the beginning is I started pressing it. At first I got some motion, but I didn't really see that there's this little step here. And you can see it right here in this little midsection. And what happens is you start pressing, and yeah, I just put a conventional two-arm puller on there, got some tension, tapped it with a hammer, got some more tension, tapped it with a hammer, and I got some motion, got it moving away, and it moved, I don't know, maybe half an inch or something, and then I couldn't get it to move anymore. I'm like, what the heck? And this is the part that I didn't notice, because this little step, I think, is des it's designed so that, <laughs> so that when you're taking this thing apart, that as you press this way, it catches on the bearing, and that's what actually drives the bearing out. Because if if uh, if this bearing um, if this bearing is somehow destroyed, I don't know how the heck you're going to get. There's no way to drift it out from 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 the inside if somehow it ends up getting destroyed. So I didn't really know exactly what's going on. So we're pressing and pounding, and pressing. I was like, I don't know why this thing is all of a sudden stopped, and then so. I started looking over here on this side and I had a little bit of a gap. I could see enough to look in sideways and see that there's a circlip in here. I'm like, you know, this circlip's got to come out. So I gave it a tap or two back to let, relieve pressure off the circlip. And we removed this nice, it's like a nice little circlip. I actually, I was able to look through, through the holes in the pulley and, you know, get action on this thing and, and, and take it out from there. Now, if I had a puller, if I was smart and I had a puller, um, you know, and, and our puller, the arms weren't small enough, um, and that might be part of the issue. This is some kind of an alloy material, and I don't know if I'd want to put a big old honking puller on the outside edge of this pulley, but, um, you know, to tell you the truth, uh, um, the way we ended up getting off, so let's say you, you do drive this a little bit, or able to get the circlip off, you should, without destroying the bearings, you should be at that point be able to drive it the rest of the way off. We got motion on these things pretty easily. We should have been able to just drive the whole thing out, but I didn't. I didn't know it, and I destroyed the, the I destroyed the bearings. We put the bearings. We put enough pressure on it to destroy the inside part of the bearings. Now, the the outside bearing here came off no problem, but this inside one, I ended up having to grind it out. It was it was kind of like you know extra twenty minutes of work. Uh, um, to get this thing out, but so that's the big deal. If you can get this to move a little bit, then take off the circlip, then drive it all out. Once that's off, you should be able to just set the thing in a vise or something. And I just used, you know, I just used a drift. You know, I just set it up. You know, the shaft was in here, and I just kind of drifted it out. It was no problem getting that off. But then the second thing was at that point, I still, I was still stupid enough. I didn't really realize that this shaft had this little step in here so you know i this I, I had this pulley here it was still on there and i'm sitting there trying to pull the bearing off this way this outside bearing and it was sitting up against this little ridge 
at that point. And you, of course, you look from this side to this side, and it had moved up against that, that little ridge, and it doesn't initially see it. You gotta remember, this thing, I think it's designed so that it gives you that little bit of start. And um, so you end up uh, uh, driving this thing out. Um, so if you, are, if you do this right, what you do is you drive it just in, far enough to expose the snap ring, remove the snap ring, drive it out the rest of the way out, remove the pulley, and then pull the bearings off in this direction. Now, I'm hoping the new bearings go on a little bit easier. I think uh, it's probably a little bit more self-explanatory putting this thing together, but I hope this video helps people understand how these things get, um, you know, you can rebuild it. A brand new one costs about 300 bucks. I think it's about 50 or $60 for the parts if you, uh, if you just want to do it yourself. And it's, uh, I imagine, imagine you could probably do in about half an hour, uh, maybe less. Um, if, uh, if you've got the parts and you know how to take it apart. So anyways, I hope this little video helps everybody and you guys have a great day. Bye now.